Hey everyone, Malekith here, bringing you episode 20 of my Fall of the Samurai playthrough. So, last episode you saw me uh, start pushing east into the Wakayama lands. They've uh, got some sizable armies sitting around. The uh, technology level of them isn't amazingly great in comparison with mine, but uh, I'm sure they could still cause some hurt if they were used correctly. This one, maybe not so much with quite that many wooden cannons, but we'll see. So the current plan of attack was uh, Bazen on the south coast here was secured. I pretty much intended to just leave those guys there. Uh, repair up these things next time when I could afford it. Although my income is uh, terrible at the moment. We then had a second army heading down towards the centre province. And I was in the process of building a third one at the top here to push east but I don't think I'm going to get enough troops and I do need to sort out my income. So, let's start by uh, seeing if there's any trades I'm missing out on. So it does seem we have a couple. Let's see if I can get a trade agreement. Speak your useless, then I will reply. Trade. No, he doesn't want to trade. Who else do we have? So uh, their trade's 306, 300. Let's just make sure I go for the largest one if I'm going to. You are here like an honest man at the front. So he's accepted I that. Will carry the shame over. Let's try some of these other ones. So that's the large province in the northeast. I did not think. You had the courage to come before. We have reached a And there should be one more. Quest trade agreement. I did not And they said no. Oh, two out of four is not so bad. Though apparently my clan income has just dropped to uh, next to nothing from doing that. Not entirely convinced as to why. So what I need to do is start dropping some units that are uh, causing me upkeep issues, most likely down in this southwestern area. So how's their happiness? Their happiness is huge. Let's get rid of the spearmen. Same in here. Let's just check their happiness. 13. Get rid of their spearmen. What else have we got? Theirs isn't quite so good, so we'll just get rid of a couple of theirs. Higo. Now Higo's got quite a few of the uh, better units in and I was using them as a sort of defence force for the island, so I'll come back to them shortly. Okay, now these guys have got expensive troops in. Let's see which one has the highest upkeep. 100, uh, the same. Okay, let's carry on looking then. Get rid of the spearmen in there. So let's go back to Hiko again. I think if we get rid of the two spear levy, what's the cannons upkeep? That's quite high, but. I kind of want to keep some cannon. I think I'll leave that there for now. I've managed to secure some income coming back in. What's our recruitment look like in here? Good, we're not recruiting anything. So I think possibly what I need to do is start improving all of my uh, support structures just to support these armies and uh, for future use. So I may not sort of expand into here. I may uh, just sit these guys at this province crossroads as a defensive force. But uh, that's about it for this turn, so let's see what happens. Ah, 
uh, the Wakayama are attacking my uh, structures in the newly captured province. Okay, so let's get these guys down to this crossroads. They're moving slowly because the amount of uh, cannons they've got with them. Quartermaster's report. Zumo was apparently recruiting. Didn't really want that to happen. Let's get rid of those Sabre Cavalry. Don't want any more upkeep than I've already got. Now then, let's get the repairs going down here. To get this town useful and productive. Move my navy along a bit. Bombard these guys. So they're not bad in terms of uh, technology, but it's not great either. So let's take these guys out to uh, meet them. Of course, they run away. How's this province happiness? No, I need the army back in there. Ready for orders. Very well. Okay. What have we got back here? Okay, so that's all the standard line infantry. How's Bingo doing? Not too bad. And these guys up here didn't have cavalry. Most they did. They had some sabers. So it seems I'm fairly well set for cavalry. So we will end that one there, I think. See how things look when Bazen has been uh, repaired. Oh, my coastal guns are bombarding that ship there, which is nice. The clans openly rejected the Emperor's divine authority. Defeat an army or navy belonging to the Wakayama clan. So in here we still have a couple of buildings on fire. That's an expensive one to fix. Let's uh, fix that instead then. Have the army march out to fight those guys. again run away. I'm gonna to have to go back in again for public order reasons. Let's hide this army in the woods and see where the enemy army went. Okay so that head north. So let's see, what can we build? I want places with fields that aren't upgraded. Ah, who's this? Wacky Army Fleet. Although there's an Izu fleet heading that direction and uh, they're at war so I may not even have to deal with them. So the farms aren't too bad on the mainland. Let's have a check over here. I mean, they do still need upgrades, but they're not base level. Oh, that one could do with one. I need another couple of turns worth of money for it. Same there. What was I researching at the moment? I can't remember. That was it, suppression fire.
So I should probably have spent a bit longer uh, upgrading forces before diving into this war with the Wakayama. Well, that's an interesting little cutscene. I like that. We've established Japan's first railway connection. The advanced method of transport will allow us to move armies and agents quickly between interconnected railway stations. Awesome. So we can now take troops from, uh, I think Bazen has one as well. Maybe not. Maybe only as far as uh, Bichu. All the way along back to the province next to our capital. So Suo, however it's pronounced. Which will work nicely. So, we have an enemy army, which looks like it's heading our way. have the geisha move to investigate. May just be moving into Hokkai to uh, defend. My lord, I awaiting on it will be done. Let's just end turn again. Unlock the all aboard achievement. Technology researched. So, what do we want to research next? Reduction of administration costs. Bonus to tax rate. These could be useful. We'll go for those. So it looks like that army was uh, moving into Hokkaido to defend, but they are bringing up another one. Here's some Kisho Ninja in. Looks a bit more advanced. We do have some very good troops in there though. The uh, Katai with their excellent reload skill. There's a Gatling cannon, two Armstrong guns, and I think the fort itself has Gatling towers. Yes, it does. So it's and it's a citadel as well. So it's it's not an easy province to take. Your orders, my lord. I do have reinforcements here. Let's start heading them north just in case. Keeping them hidden. So let's go investigate those farms. Get them growing. So we'll continue our march north, I think. See if we can't lure out one of these guys. Or both of them, maybe. A pair of Gatling guns with this many uh, modern infantry would be a fun target for them to run at. Oh, that's a third army. We could have a rather large fight on our hands here. So we'll damage their uh, farms. 
and then head back, I think. I do want to stop them walking all the way down. Because I don't have the defense at the bottom there. So what's this? William Willis, a British physician residing in Japan, seeks temporary employment and is offering his services as medical officer. So we'd have medical breakthrough, which is plus two to happiness and 10% unit replenishment. But it would cost me money that I can't really afford to spare at the moment. So we're going with no. I'm going back to look for more farms that need upgrades. Where was it? It was around here somewhere. There we go. Oh, my open pit copper mine is damaged. Cheeky sods. Get that repaired first, I think. Daughter is born. So up here. Let's sit in those trees. Considering the amount of troops they've got sat around, they're not being particularly aggressive with them. So that's a farm complete. Let's uh, get this next one building. I'm tempted to try and lure them onto this army, so I'm going to march over here. Seems who are these guys? The Matsume, who I think are at war with the Wakayama, have just uh, come up and wiped out the fleet that was here and uh, may well be bombarding these guys for me now. Should have a quick check of the rest of the map. Not a lot seems to be happening. What I really need is a second fleet to go up the top, but I definitely can't afford that at the moment. Let's see what have we got. Could upgrade this to a trade port. Let's get that going. So what the Geisha do if she joins there and inspires the army? It will be my so in you go. Your orders, my lord. I sought for you, my lord. It's a lot of men. So I want to try it. Yes, my lord. Very tempting. Strike them down. Besieging so we're besieging the settlement. I have no intention of actually attacking it. Besieging. It should lure them out and bring these guys with them. And even if I don't necessarily win the fight, I uh, should take considerably large amounts of their troops down with me. To be honest, I could probably do with the financial jump from losing some of these troops. Yeah, it seems the Wakayama are attacking in the south. I 
Suyama have joined the uh, Imperial cause. Enemy raid, autumn. So who are the Suyama? Let's have a look. Ah, the middle province between the ones I've been fighting over. Come, be seated. I will order tea, and we'll. So that is this province here. Let's get this guy up here to have a spy on what's going on. Meanwhile, down in the south, Let's, can I bombard them? Yep. Uh, plenty of damage. And these guys. I don't think it will let me select. No, it won't let me select the veteran to go out with the army, which has always been annoying. So he's retreated. Okay, I've had enough of him sitting around. What's he got? Lots of cavalry. We can deal with him. So let's save there in case uh, we have some FPS issues. Check and resolve. And let's go. Nice and dry, that will do. So let's have a look at this map then. So we've got some hills. They've got no real woods to hide in. You can see where my ninja can deploy. Uh, their wooden cannons will be static. Okay, let's put my cannons on this flank here. And have them unlimber. Where can they shoot to? The very edge of their deployment zone, so it's not a great place to put them. Limber them back up again. We'll run them off into the field on the side here. Let's have. Hmm. We'll have the Yari Key over there to move into position to protect them while they move. The uh, Katana to go with them. Then, let's see. I'll have the Royal Marines go on their right. And then these guys can all just go on their left. Now, where do we want to hide the ninja? Let's have... Let's see, so these can go anywhere on the map outside this blue rectangle. Whatever colour this actually is. So let's hide some there. Some down here. Actually I'll put them right over in the corner just in case. Now where's that map edge? Because I'm going to need to line up on it. Case of cannon. Go. Prepare to attack, sir. Yari Key. Royal Marines. And let's have the Katai. These guys can line up there. Change my mind on the katana. I'm going to have them go on this left flank. They can sacrifice themselves to protect the flank of the Imperial infantry should they need to. So 
So what have we got? We've got the wooden cannons right on the edge here. Those guys are marching off for the hills. So if these guys sneak along a bit more then. These guys sneak out. So we will come under some cannon fire uh, well before we're in position, but they're wooden cannons, so uh, we should be able to weather it. Speaking of which, here it comes. So it looks like they're firing on my... Uh, Stationary infantry. Let's actually move those guys up then. So all of them can go into guard mode. So losing a few men. The cannons in position. They get in there. Not quite. Close enough. And limber. Go for some shrapnel. They can fire at will. Oh, here comes some bokey. Do they have longer range than me? Most likely. There's only 16 of them. Suppression fire! Go! So those units are looking to run already. Got the enemy samurai hero, Yariki, and some bows. Oh, my ninja have been spotted. Okay, let's send a unit of cavalry to deal with these bowmen and a unit of cavalry to deal with them these guys can crouch so there's an envelopment going on there send these ninja this way actually walk so these guys are shattered you guys can move in on these cannons now They're wavering and defeated. Your victory is close, sir. Let's uh, move the cavalry out of range. Try and draw these away. Cannons are doing a good job on there. They can attack that. So uh, enemy has discovered your hidden units. Charge these samurai hero. Not sure how well this will go. It is spear cavalry versus samurai hero, but Samurai here are pretty good. We're taking fire from behind. I 
See if I can't get some ninja in there to uh, even up the odds a little. Cannons are obliterating these guys. There's bodies everywhere. Stick them on some... I oh, know, shrapnel shot's still off. So let's charge these line infantry from behind with the uh, ninja. Here they come. Expect blood. Oh, there it is. Huge spray of it as a whole liner cut down. Yari Key aren't particularly healthy, but then they have been taking the brunt of this fight. We will continue as we hunt these guys down. Let's get them after the matchlocks. Get one of the Yari Key units after these guys. Let's let the Shogun go hunt one down as well. Or the, uh, the Daimyo, sorry, not the Shogun. Here come the ninja. Hitting a fleeing unit. Blood sprays everywhere. I think that uh, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor song would be appropriate now. It's a ridiculous pile of them. I think there's going to be anything left for the Shogun to shoot. Oh, there we go. Shogun can go shoot those guys. We are lost. Lost. And snaps his neck. Yeah. They're happy. Cannon. Ceasefire. So here comes the Shogun. Gunning down the rear ranks. Run for the hills, run for your lives. Sounds about right. Falling in droves. Sniped. There's one guy left. Oh, brutalized. Riding down the last few men on foot here. There he goes. Charge. Trampled underfoot, stabbed in the back by spears. Oh, or just sent flying across the uh, ter terrain. Will these guys make it to the exit? They're close, they're close. Look at them vault that fence. And three managed to make it and then run back onto the map purely to taunt the, uh, the poor horsemen. And they're off. So three managed to get away. Sir, your hidden men have been spotted. Apparently my hidden men have been spotted. And that should be the end of them. There's a few more running around in the buildings here. The cavalry are on them. Thunder, 
trying to escape down the streets of the town. And it's all over. You can see in the bottom right hand corner there the killing blow as the spearman stabs through the back of the last rifleman. So we lost 268 men, they lost 10 times that number, 2,735, but they did have some survivors. Let's uh, have a look, so the Yari Ki, far more than uh, punching their weight, it's 1,082 troops dead between them. The Armstrong guns coming in next, pretty much just standing there, pummeling the uh, infantry troop that couldn't advance quick enough. And then the ninja cleaning up just behind them. Yeah, the main line didn't do too bad. Splitting mostly the cavalry kills between them, where the uh, cavalry charged their lines. And uh, losses mostly incurred by the Yari Ki, but the Imperial Infantry that got charged by that uh, cavalry unit did suffer some. So we now have the call to arms trait. I was hoping these guys could get back into town, but apparently not. So what's happening up here? We have enemy armies queuing up. Meanwhile, I'm sieging to try and draw them out into my new Gatling gun toys. But what I'm going to do, guys, is end the episode there and continue this in the next one. So thanks for watching. See you next time.